first to make his way to the glory ring. He stepped in on short notice for his glory debut in Zagreb. Please welcome Teo Mikalic. There's 23-year-old Teo Mikalic fighting out of Pula, Croatia. Looking for his first glory victory after losing to Myrtle Grunhardt at Glory 14 in Zagreb, Croatia, in March of 2014. Acquitted himself well in that fight, but suffered a cut. And as a result of the doctor stoppage, tasted defeat. So, looking to garner better results this time around. This man made his first glory appearance at Glory 20 Dubai and puts his perfect record on the line. Anatole Moiseev. 26-year-old Anatoly Moiseev out of Russia. Undefeated at 14 and 0. And you talk about a memorable debut in glory. At Glory 20 Dubai, it took him all of 23 seconds to dispatch the double tough Max Bomert with a beautiful right head kick knockout. Steven, one of the highlights of that trip was we witnessed our first standstorm. Unfortunately, Durud was nowhere to be found, but this guy left his mark. He really did, and Bomert was a tough guy to beat. In order to get things done against Mikulic, he's going to want to press the action, be first, and don't let his opponent get set, and make a pace that Mikulic will not be able to sustain, and then go for the finish. And he believes that he can still remain unhittable. So we are set for the opener here on the Super Fight Series. Anatoly Moiseev of Russia against Croatia's Teo Mikulic in lightweight action. In this battle of Russia versus Croatia, Moiseev is the older fighter by three years, but he's also the taller and undefeated. And to me, if Mikulic is going to get it done, he's going to have to do it with kicks. Can anybody say back kick? And the rules. All fights except for the main event, which is a five three-minute round championship affair, will be three three-minute rounds. Three judges seated at ringside will score each fight. Using the 10-point must system, the winner of each round receives 10 points, the opponent nine or less. There is no standing eight count, no elbows, throws, or sweeps. The doctor or referee can stop the fight. This bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the glory lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, trained as a boxer and a kickboxer. His professional record, nine wins with four losses. Seven of those nine wins have come by way of knockout. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, 1.73 meters. And he weighed in at fight time at an even 154 pounds, 69.8 kilos. He fights tonight out of Croatia. Ladies and gentlemen, Teo Mikali. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, a WAKO Russian national and world champion. His professional record, perfect. 14 bouts, 14 wins, four of those wins by knockout. At five feet, 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters, he too weighed in at an even 154 pounds, 69.8 kilos. He fights tonight out of Russia. Please welcome Anatoly Moisev. And your referee in charge of the glory ring is Stefano Valenti. Touch if you want. Okay, he's in at my commands, right? Corner. So we are set for three three minute rounds in the glory lightweight division. Stefano Valenti is the referee. The bell and round one, they touch gloves. It is Teo Mikulic in the black gloves and Atoli Moisev in the white gloves. Mikulic already starting to work that left jab and there's that right low kick. And going to the body with the left hook is Mikulic. 
looking to even his glory record at one and one, taking that fight against Myrtle Grunhardt via short notice. There was a left head kick, another body kick by Moisiev. He used the right head kick to knock out Max Bomert in his lone glory appearance. Moisiev undefeated at 14 and 0 with four wins inside the distance. Mikulic at nine and four with seven wins via form of knockout in that spinning hook kick to the head by Moisiev. Just grazed the temple, but man, he is a flashy fighter. He really is. And that left rib kick that he threw earlier, he did without even a switch. He does it so quickly. Moisiev started training at the age of 12 with kickboxing coach Igor Popkov. He took him to the level of champion of Russia and then world champion. He had more than 200 amateur fights. While Mikulic started Taekwondo at 8, started kickboxing at 13, boxing at 14. He was 56 and 4 as an amateur. So plenty of experience all around here in this lightweight opener and they're showcasing their wares with punches and of course kicks. They really, it is kickboxing after all. Yeah, they, they really are because Mikulic through that back fist earlier on and we've gotten a couple of head kicks by Moiseev. Just past the midpoint of the opening round. Beautiful combination culminating with that outside low kick by Moiseev. I have to say that Mikulic exhibited really good defense for most of that combination, but the low kick landed. And that combination was blocked by Moisev. Nice inside low kick. Under a minute remaining in an action-packed opening round. Moisev trains at GFC Global Fight Club, a management group and event promoter. They own a gym called Gambari Dojo, which is Japanese for the dojo of the spirit, which never surrenders. Also spends time in the Netherlands at Coliseum Gym. What I'm seeing from Moisiev oh, nice. is that high roundhouse kick he does so quickly without any kind of a setup. Whoa! Some 360 roundhouse kick. It was shielded by Moisiev, but it looked good for Mikulic. Tremendous technique on display here in the opening round. Mikulic coached by Zel Galashic, who is a MMA veteran, former Cage Rage champion, competed in Pride, Dream, and Bellator. And what a dream opening round here between Moisiev and Mikulic. Terrific stuff, Steven. That was an excellent round for both gentlemen. Here we have that spinning hook kick by Moisiev, which, land, which did not land. Otherwise, it would have been a big problem for Mikulic. Mikulic shielding against those head kicks, but that's still going to hurt your arm when that roundhouse kick lands like that. Danny DeVries of the Coliseum Gym in the Netherlands in his corner. Also works with the uh, Wilness Brothers and uh, Rico Verhoeven, the glory heavyweight champion. Meanwhile, Mikulic, there's Zel Galicic, who's massaging his neck with the ice pack. How'd you score that opening round, Steven? That opening round I gave to Moisiev. 10-9, I thought he was the busier fighter. He exhibited more aggression. There's glory girl, Alyssa. Letting us know that it is round number two. Moisiev telling us that he's been addicted to competition since he was a child, even in kindergarten. He was a restless kid running, jumping at school in the playground. He always wanted to fight. And now he's getting paid for it here in the glory ring. One thing I noticed about Mikulic, he'll come out, he'll, he'll throw a couple shots, but then he'll slightly back up. It's like he, he tends to move backward. Mikulic very busy this year, five and two with three knockouts thus far in 2015 as they continue to show off their skills, both of them now trying those spinning hook kick blocked and that combination blocked. So we're seeing good offense, but also good defense. Yes, we are. I love the spinning hook kick. Dragon whips his tail, as Bruce Lee would say, in Return of the Dragon. And the total strikes. You see the defense on display. Mikulic hurt. Six, seven, eight, okay? Fight! Well, Mikulic is behind the eight ball now. If he lost that first round, he's 
behind a deficit of a 10-8 round potentially in this the second. Mikulic digging away at the body. Left uppercut just grazed the bearded chin of Mikulic by Moisiev. But man, they are really mixing up their strikes, showcasing their diversity. Mikulic just 23 years of age, Moisiev 26. Moisiev is the faster fighter, and that's a big deal in a kickboxing match. Mikulic known for his do or die style. A big fan favorite for those who follow Final Fight, Croatia's leading national promotion. As we told you, seven of his nine wins via form of knockout, but he's also been stopped in his career. Mikulic threw a jump left knee there that kind of caught Moisiev a little bit. Nice combination there by Moisiev. Left hook to the liver. Outside low kick with the right leg. High kick blocked by Moisiev. A great way to start this special edition of the Glory Super Fight Series on a historic night for the SFS. Featherweight Championship out coming up. Front kick to the face by Moisiev. It's little things like that that'll win you around. A la Leona Machida and Anderson Silva. That was a hard peppering Mikulic. Yeah, but that was a hard check by Mikulic. Left hook to the body, left hook upstairs, and a wild right hand, good counter right by Moisiev. Had him momentarily locked in a side headlock. Not allowed in kickboxing. Another great round. There we have the spinning hook kick, which partially landed on the neck of Mikulic. But Mikulic is trying to come back and get something done and walks right into a left hook, and that caused a standing eight count. Mikulic trying to get even with that front kick, but doesn't have the correct distance. Throws a spinning hook kick of his own. Nothing lands. So Mikulic down. After two rounds, there's Tia, former Milan model, now a glory girl. The gorgeous glory girls on hand here, just outside of uh, Milan and the many fashion boutiques that it houses. Fight. Terrific style on display here between Moisiev in the white gloves and Mikulic in the black. The third and final round, Stephen, your unofficial score. Unofficial score, I've got the first round for Moisiev, also the second round for Moisiev by 10-8. So, Mikulic needs a knockout to win. And we are witnessing the speed and the ability to piece together combinations and quickly back out of the pocket by Moisiev. There was a check by Mikulic. Mikulic looking, again, very game. A valiant effort, but needs, a, according to your unofficial score card in mind, he needs a stoppage here. Yes, he does. He, he really does. Nice spinning back fist, though, and that partially landed. On Moisiev. And Moisiev's never been stopped. He's never tasted defeat. Mikulic doing the right thing by pressing the action to get Moisiev up against the ropes. He's got to do more of that. He's got to turn this into an ugly fight. Heaven forbid we've seen a beautiful fight thus far, but I know what you mean. One <laughs> yeah, but, minute gone, I get it. But strategy is not going to work. It's not going to work for him to face a beautiful sure. fight, a beautiful fight on the outside like this. Moisiev has got the advantage. Mikulic aggressive. They touch gloves. That was blocked. Looking at the strikes landed. Big edge for Moisiev. And Moisiev got over double the amount of punches landed. And the, the kicks, same situation. Yeah, more than a two to one advantage in total strikes. Shell defense there by Mikulic, misses with the spinning back kick. Moisiev has the ability to drop his hands just a little bit and to slip his head back if the, if the guy throws a back kick or a head There's kick. a spinning back kick to the midsection by Moisiev, but Mikulic continues to walk forward, but the hand speed of Moisiev on display. Inside low kick by Mikulic, under a minute left in the foot. I think this is good for Moisiev because he was only in the ring in his last fight for 38 seconds against Paul Merrick. 23 seconds. Stop! Stop! 
Please, don't do it. Very quick affair in Dubai. Right. Lasted about as long as a Snapchat photo. <laughs> and Mikulic trying to pepper Moisia, but not a lot behind those shots. And like you say, has to make it dirty, has to get on the inside like this, and has to find an opening. Yeah. The problem is the defense of Moisiev is almost as good as his offense. And Moisiev, definitely a player at 154 pounds, and it appears he's on his way to improving to 15 and 0 and 2 and 0 here inside the Glory Ring, barring a Milan miracle from Mikulic. Great fight. Excellent fight. Both guys acquitted themselves well. It's just that one was a knock better than the other. Mikulic got to be a little bit frustrated, but got to know that the last time Moisev fought, he finished the guy early, and he went the distance. So, according to the fight professor's unofficial scorecard, your score is? My score is, gosh, Moisev running away with him. I had Moisev winning the last round, too, although we saw spurts from Mikulic. It wasn't enough, in my opinion. A spinning hook kick almost lands. That would have been a game changer, a fight ender. Moisev finishing punch combination with low kicks, spinning back kicks with roundhouse kicks. He was basically in that that hook. Oh boy, that was a great call by a referee to give him a standing eight count because he was definitely wobbled. It was the equivalent of a knockdown. And that back kick to the body just seals the deal at the end of round three for Moisev. And Moisev running away with punches and kicks, especially the kicks, 23 to 9, please. And knees 4 to 1. To me, not a complete shutout, but close to a shutout. So we await the uh, official scores. And again, according to the glory criteria, when it comes to scoring, it's all about cumulative uh, knockdowns, the amount of knockdowns first in a prioritized criteria. Then damage, followed by scoring with spectacular techniques, regular techniques, and aggression. Let's go to Tim Hughes to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the scores. 29-27, 30-26, and 30-26. A unanimous decision for your winner, Anatoly Moisev! So Anatoly Moisev improves to 15-0, 2-0 inside the glory ring. He hails from Novorossiysk City, home to one of Russia's most strategic naval bases. Almost sunk Mikulic's battleship in the second round. Instead, cruises to an impressive, unanimous decision win to kick off this special edition of the Glory Super Fight Series.